Hey everybody and welcome back to another video in this Pi game tutorial series. Uh, we have created a really nice tower defense game up until this point, but there still remains a couple of things that we want to do. And one of the main focuses of this video is going to be adding music and sound effects to our game. And in addition to that, we're also going to make slight tweaks because as you can see, the enemies move a bit too fast and that makes the game really hard to uh, beat. And you can also see that the tower health can take a negative value as it has right now. And these are sort of small things that we still want to change to make our game complete. So let's go ahead and begin by adding some music to our game. The way this is done is by first loading in the music. So we're going to add a new comment over here and say music uh, slash sounds. Um, and we are going to then create a variable which is going to store the music. So uh, in my file tree over here, I have gone ahead and included two files. These are OGG files, but don't, get, don't be confused about that. That is some uh, type of music file. Uh, it could also be an MP3 file or a WAV file. So whatever type of music file you want to choose and go with uh, should work with Pygame. But over here, I'm using these two sounds because they're free and they're quite nice. And they just happen to be OGG files. So the main background music is called music.ogg. So we are going to include that in our game. Uh, and load it in. So pygame.mixer.music.load. And then we can go ahead and load in the music file. And uh, I'm going to pass in the name of this file. So that's music.ogg. There we go. So after we've done that, we also want to make sure that the music loops and plays the entire time. So we can write pygame.mixer.music.play and put in a minus one to make sure that it loops. So now when I go ahead and run this game, you will be able to hear um, the sound playing in the background, I hope. Um, yeah, I think you should be hearing something now. I hope that you can hear it after it loads uh, and renders the video for YouTube. So there's a nice sound playing at the moment, uh, which fits well to our game. But we also want to have a sound effect that uh, sort of a pop sound effect whenever we shoot the bullet. So the way we can include that is by adding the second sound, which I called pop.ogg, because it's a pop sound. So I'm going to say uh, pop sound, pop underscore sound is equal to the pygame.mixer.sound. And then I'm going to pass in the name of the file, which is pop dot o g g and we want to make sure that this sound only plays whenever we shoot a bullet so we are going to go to the class hero which is the class of the character which we control and in this class there is a uh, shoot uh, method which we uh, introduced in one of the tutorials and so if we go ahead to the if statement over here uh, uh, the if statement over here basically uh, return the condition over here returns true whenever the F key is pressed so whenever we press fire and when the cooldown counter is equal to zero so basically whenever we fire a bullet and that is exactly where we are going to place the pop sound so we are going to quickly go ahead and do that and say pop underscore sound and then um, dot play. And before I demonstrate the pop sound, let me just quickly get rid of the background music for just a moment so you can really uh, clearly hear the pop sound uh, included in the game because the music is quite loud and it sometimes um, covers the pop sound. So let me go ahead and um, run the game again. And now you should hear a pop sound every time I shoot a bullet. 
right? I hope you can hear that well. So now we have the pop sound and the background sound. So let me go ahead and add the background sound back in again. All right, so the, the other things we want to change are um, two things. We want to make sure that the cooldown of the bullet isn't as long as it is because it makes it really hard to beat the game if we can't shoot as often. So remember we had included a cooldown and we said that it takes 20 while loop iterations for us to be able to shoot again. We're gonna decrease that to 10. And in addition to that, we also want to make sure that the enemies are a bit slower. So in the speed over here of the uh, uh, enemy, we are simply going to write that his speed is two. And remember that every time the enemy runs into the castle or when we kill the enemy, we increment the speed by one. And we want to decrease that to 0.25. Um, that makes it uh, a bit, the enemies a bit slower, and I think it makes the game a bit more fun if uh, you can actually beat it. So uh, that's what we wanted to do. And another thing was uh, that we had the tower lives uh, become negative, and we don't want to have negative um, lives for our tower because as soon as the lives go to zero, we actually want to, well, we want the, the game to end and us to be able to restart. So we're gonna write tower over here, um, tower health, and we're gonna include the following if statement. If tower health is equal to zero, so the, 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 um, basically the enemy walks into our tower until we have zero health on our tower, we want to make sure that the player um, dot alive, alive variable is equal to false. There we go. And that should do the deal. Um, so now we also need to make sure of one more thing which is whenever we reset the game, we need to say that the um, tower life reset, the tower health resets, and we're gonna reset the tower health to, um, let, let, let's give ourselves tower health of two, and we're gonna reset it to two whenever we um, press the restart button. And over here, we need to make sure that we're including the global global tower health, and we're also including the global speed, because we also want to reset the speed of the enemy when we restart the game uh, once we die. So we reset the speed to, let's see what we gave it at the bottom, value of two. All right, so that should be um, everything covered. Let's go ahead and run the game and see how we've done. So we can now shoot more bullets, the enemies are a bit slower, and um, yeah, so that is actually uh, where we want it to be at the moment. And now you can see once the enemy runs into the tower once, we're going to lose a life. And the enemy is running really slow, um, but once the enemy walks into the tower again, which, we'll, you, which you'll see in a, in a moment, we'll actually have a restart screen happen, uh, pop up, and that's when we can restart the game. So um, let's see, yeah, now we can press R, I'm gonna press the keybind R, and you'll see we've reset the game. And if we kill an enemy, you can also see in the top right corner that we have a kill counter which sort of increases every time we kill an enemy. All right, so that is going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to be summarizing what we've learned throughout the series and drawing a sort of conclusion to end the series. Um, yeah, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to stay updated on the new episodes coming out on this channel.